Have you ever needed to downsize from a big ATX case into a smaller mid-tower case? If so, you know that searching for the right MATX or ITX motherboard for your new case is not easy. Especially with prices for everything at an all-time high recently, this can become a challenge. But what if you could fit an ATX motherboard in a mid-tower case? Welcome back to the Handshake List. This is the Cooler Master Q500L. Right away, you can tell that Cooler Master went out of their way to make this case high quality and versatile. The case is built extremely well. It's rigid with no flex, even with both side panels removed. The front and top feature full length magnetic dust filters. The magnets are strong, but also come off without a fuss for easy dust cleaning, because nobody likes dust. Except Thanos, right? The back has plenty of room for cable management. Two included caddies enable you to install two 3.5 inch hard drives or up to four SSDs. I couldn't believe it at first, but yes, 3.5 inch drives will fit back here. Coming around to the other side, the IO panel can be removed and repositioned on the top or at the bottom. How innovative is that? The case is included with one rear fan with room for potentially two bottom fans, two top fans, or two front fans if you decide not to use the PSU bracket. But the best part about this case is that it supports a standard size ATX motherboard. How cool is that? This is possible because of the PSU bracket, which enables you to mount your PSU in front of the case, clearing up room on the bottom. This was the perfect solution to a recent issue we had. We wanted to downsize from this big Corsair 540 case into something smaller. The cheapest and simplest way to do this was to find a case that would fit all our parts, including our ATX motherboard. Great job, Cooler Master. We bought this case for $58 on Amazon, but Camel 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 shows it can sometimes go on sale for $45. Definitely a great purchase if you can find it for that price. But we think that for $58, you're still getting good value because of all the thought and features that were put into this case, especially if it means you're saving yourself from having to buy a new motherboard. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please click that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications as we have more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching The Handshake List.